reborn into rebirth. How many times are we reborn? I spoke with my brother in Christ and I asked myself, I said, have you been reborn yet? I said, I'm reborn every day. There is a spiritual rebirth that we see day after day. He said, my brother, you're only reborn once. But to understand that it is a, a new day, every day, that your sins are pardoned. And though there's one rebirth that we end up seeing after this life, that it is a daily, continual renewing and devotion unto God. You have to take up your cross daily, as he says. That's actually the very edification that we end up seeing within the scriptures that show us how there is that ability to take up the name of God. That we call to the Spirit of the Lord. That the Spirit of the Lord, God actually gives forth a new idea to where it is a spiritual rebirth. It is divine, immaculate conception. But then also that the rebirth within itself is not in the same way that we look towards a, a rebirth, a reincarnation, but rather to take forward and to be reborn into the essence of Christ Jesus. When you end up giving a blessing to someone, we see the laying on of the hands is one way to do that. But in everything, it is almost as though it is in a cycle. What we end up seeing is that what is given to us within a day is also given to us within a lifetime, within a lifetime, within a generation, and then continues. So that the very same things that have happened have already happened before. Because of that, it shows forth in various cycles. And in the same way as we see seasons, we also see the parallel for the seasons of the harvest of sowing forth the word of God. Jesus is giving you that, that chesim kadosh, actually, and the invincible one of Israel to build forth that ability to continually go forth and sow within creation because of the grace and the loving kindness of God. It is his spiritual blessing and benediction that sows forth grace to grace, love unto love, and the very perseverance that we end up receiving. And because of that, we end up receiving infinitely a new portion of his love, and it is everlasting. You see, to understand that that rebirth that we end up seeing within the spirit, well, it's a parallel of baptism, but also to stop a moment and to praise the saints, to give them achava, shalom, chesed, and gevura, and to even ask for that, to be able to so forth love, and also an appreciation. But that appreciation that we end up receiving is actually giving us the ability to then therefore show in the spirit how there is a spiritual rebirth. Now, when Jesus says that I have not lost even one of them, he showed them forth perfect rebirth within the spirit. Now, if we end up going into city after city, sometimes it feels as though that the Spirit of God is reborn. Everything that we'd sown, someone else starts to reap because we start to preach the world, the gospel. If you end up seeing that, well, what we end up seeing is that also that there is a connection that we end up having within the Spirit, so that it is one Spirit, although it imitates minutes. Peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, and love, and it is grace that actually shows forth that ability for us to receive those blessings. So that when we end up having that familiar spirit of brotherly love, of godly love, it is filial in its essence, isn't it? But even at that, it is to connect with the spirit in a new way. So that though it is a new person that we're ministering to, it's as though we've already seen them before. Wow, you have already come, I've seen the blessing. But then we're building forth more. It's actually becoming greater. And because of that, it's edifying itself. You see, it strengthens. So that you build forth that root, of foundation. You have a vineyard here, and you have a vineyard there. To have one in both hemispheres, and how they continually reap and building forth actually shows forth the cycles of the season, and how we end up building this. And how Christ himself is edifying us and giving us the purity of the sanctification of the kingdom. I want you to have that blessing today. I want you to sow forth the word of God. I want you to build that blessing. And I want you to understand and Jesus loves you. He's given you everything. And because of that, you're going to receive an eternal blessing and the glory and the salvation of Christ Jesus for all time. Call him to the Lord. And he will show you great and mighty things beyond your understanding. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.